Former Trump aide John McKenty has admitted on camera to committing crime. So I always keep this fake Hollywood money in my car. So when a homeless person asks for money, then I give them like a fake $5 bill. So I feel good about myself. They feel good. And then when they go to use it, they get arrested. So I'm actually like helping clean up the community, you know, getting them off the street. Ah, yes. There's nothing like MAGA chuds doing crime while attempting to own poor people for the crime of being poor. Because to them, apparently being poor is a crime. Being unhoused is a crime. Uh, I, look, I've noticed this pattern in the far right, right? So they keep doing crime while then claiming to be trying to help. No, no, that's that's an excuse. You just hate, you hate homeless people and uh, you want them to get arrested. I mean, again, he said, so I'm just doing my part to help clean up the streets, you know, by getting poor people arrested <laughs> by giving them fake money. Yeah, that's illegal. <laughs> I mean, hey, uh, definitely illegal creating and handing out counterfeit cash with the purpose of getting people in trouble. Again, just having that counterfeit cash and trying to pass it off as real money. Yeah, that's a crime. Now, when people pointed that out, he's like, oh, oh no, 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 no. It wasn't real. It was, it, was a, it was meant to be funny. It was a joke. You see, you live, you, you want a sense of humor. Now, the intellectuals pointed out, John McKinney, formerly affiliated with the Trump administration, claims that a promotional video for a conservative dating app on the Date the Right Date Right Stuff TikTok channel was meant humorously. Really? So, what about that is, is, is funny and has anything to do with a dating site? Nothing. It, you're out there saying, ha, 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 I'm going to screw over unhoused people as if they don't already have it bad enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it worse. Look, there are millions of people in this country that are one uh, missed paycheck or bad health diagnosis away from becoming homeless. And you think that this is funny? You think it's funny to help get these people that have fallen on hard times arrested? As if, you know, the, the laws against the unhoused in this country aren't already punitive enough for the crime of being... For the crime! I keep saying crime of being poor, but it shouldn't be a crime. Criminalization of, of poverty should not be a thing. It should not exist in this country. But this guy just wants to have a nice little laugh at your expense. That's who these guys are. I cannot express how shitty of a person John McKenty is. Like, seriously, this guy can F all the way off. All right. Now, that said, in their mean spiritedness, it leads them to not thinking about things. All right. You idiot. And it leads them to, you know, committing a potential crime. OK, again, because behind all the mean nastiness is someone who is just profoundly stupid and cruel. Stupid. All right. Social media users actually began tagging the FBI and the Secret Service to his post, which he had to take down. Now, Reed Galen, former campaign manager for Senator John McCain and Lincoln Project co-founder, said this. Spoke to a friend recently who's worked as a civil servant for years and dealt with Trump people. Here's the thing. They literally don't care if something is illegal. Oh, that's illegal? It'll be fine. And then, of course, tagged Secret Service. Uh, <laughs> look, it's true. It's true. They, they don't care about the law. They don't think that it applies to them. And I think uh, we know why. We can probably tell why. Yeah, because uh, you know, homelessness tends to disproportionately affect uh, minorities, uh, people of color, also LGBTQ plus folks. But also, by the way, veterans. Veterans. So there's a lot of homeless veterans. And this guy's like, I'm, I'm going to give them fake money so they get arrested. <laughs> we care about the troops. Yeah, BS. Bullshit. Totally. Uh, now, there's more responses. Uh, Archer the Armo says, Hey, Secret Service, check out the dude from Project 2025. He's giving out counterfeit money as real money to homeless to set them up. Mm. Now, the cat writes, It's not a joke. That's their go-to when they get caught in their bad behavior. He's even more evil than he appears to joke about people suffering and how he compounds it. Very good points. Lisa says, uh, what do homeless, uh, what do the homeless being scanned, scammed have to do with dating apps? Well, once again, uh, apparently, so what? Two terrible people can get together and bond over the shared suffering that they have inflicted upon others? 
And yeah, that actually does sound a, a lot like what a conservative dating app would be like. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's bond over our mutual hatred of people who are poor. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like them. All right. Uh, nobody special writes, conservatives like to use what I've heard referred to as Schrodinger's jokes. It's neither serious nor a joke until they're called out on it. Then it is whatever is most beneficial. I absolutely love that explanation. Schrodinger's joke, 100%. I mean, that applies to a lot of things conservatives say. Schrodinger's uh, democratic president, for example, uh, a tyrant, dictator, but also uh, barely mentally aware <laughs> and not actually running anything. Uh, being pulled by Obama's, uh, you know, strings. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Now, as the intellectualist notes, this is not a joke. The video itself lacks explicit cues that is intended as a joke, and McKenzie's comment was not was not even displayed alongside the video, which led to him, of course, uh, uh, deleting it. Gone, gone. <laughs> or, bing, 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 boom. She, it's gone. What? I didn't. I didn't confess to, to committing crimes on camera. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I wouldn't do that. Look. When it comes to people like McKenty, you got to understand the cruelty is the point. They will do anything they can to punch down at people less fortunate than they are because they have no empathy, no compassion towards anyone other than themselves. <laughs>